What's going on boys, welcome back to another video. Today we've got another player review of course, and uh, it's a position I need, uh, it's a right winger. I've been waiting for a right winger to come out for a while now. Lucas is very decent on the right wing to be fair, but this guy honestly looks insane. There are obviously a few of these cards that fit, let's say, the meta, but actually a lot of them do look fairly decent. I decided to use Salvio purely for the fact that uh, he fits my team. And he also looks good, so it was a 2 and one for me. But yeah, this is a Salvio player review. Um, honestly, no idea what to call these cards. Foot, foot player day special items. If they have an official name, let me know in the comments down below. But yeah, that is my team if any of you are wondering. I do play a full one 2 one 2 second in game. And uh, unfortunately, I picked Del Piero in centre mid. But yeah, he is actually quite good in centre mid. But nonetheless, let's get straight into the um, in games. Right guys, now into the in games. Honestly, just looking over that card, he looks insane. Um, absolutely crazy card. He came from an 80 rated uh, rare card to a 91 rated special item. The upgrades, honestly, mad. But again, it's what we want to see in FIFA. Just massive upgrades to players you wouldn't normally use. It just adds variety to your teams, etc. Let you try out a load of new players without getting uh, smashed, to be honest. But yeah, straight into it. So he's got... 94 pace overall, he's got 97 acceleration, 91 sprint speed, very nice. Shooting, he's got 89 overall, he's got 98 positioning, 87 finishing, 94 shot power, 85 long shots, 85 volleys and 90 penalties. For passing, he's got 88 overall, he's got 89 vision, 89 crossing, 77 free kick accuracy, 90 short passing, 77 long passing and 95 curve. Dribbling, he's got 92 overall. He's got 88 agility, 86 balance, 84 reactions, 92 ball control, 93 dribbling, and 92 composure. Heading accuracy, he's got 78. Um, for jumping, he's got 99 stamina, 89 strength, 75, and aggression, 83. Now, he's got very decent physical stats, to be fair, for how short this guy is. But yeah, he is 4 star, 4 star. He's right footed, 5 foot 8. He has a high attacking and medium defensive work rate. He is also, he has the giant throwing trait, speed dribbler, flair, and injury prone, and has no specialities. So, yeah, overall, it's like a fairly decent card. Let's get right into the clips. So, guys, now into the clips. Right off the bat, I can tell you he's a very, very fun card to use <laughs> as he gets bodied. That is a prime blanc, by the way, so it's not too harsh him getting out muscled. But yeah, very nice card. Weak foot shot there wasn't wasn't too great to be honest, but again, in nice positions. Nice bit of dribbling there and top bins. What a finish that was. Got another replay of it. Kind of a bad angle, but it just keeps on rising. But yeah, nice finish. Nice drag back there. Pulls it off really quickly. Poor shot from Ninica, but I had to shoot on the weak foot because he hasn't got the skills. Oh, and this guy ended up equalising. He uh, drawing one all at the moment, and he decides to park every man behind the ball and not even bother tackle. He was letting his AI defend, so in the end, I literally just kicked the ball off the field and left. Saves me hassle. Honestly, I don't respect people that play like that, but I guess your game, you do what you want. No clue how that was a penalty, but again, FIFA 20. He earned it, so of course we've got to put him on it. And there we go. He tries faking to the right there, but I stick to my guns and lovely pen there. No celebration. Straight into the next one. Eduardo Salvia. Nice little one two. Beautiful pass there from Lineker. Finesse top bins. Love that. 94 shot power just means his shots have so much power on them. And they always end up going to the. Uh, they start off low and just rise like hell. Oh. No good. No good. Lovely ball there. Lovely finish. Got to go for that near post. Very overpowered. Salvio. Lovely bit of dribbling there. 
the LP doing what the LP does. Again, Savio fighting for the ball there. I believe he's got 83 aggression, or somewhere around there. And honestly, when he loses the ball, he does actually fight for it back. He actually won me a few interceptions as well uh, in the central mid position. Just him tracking back a little bit and then his aggression just kicks in. Which honestly is very nice to see. You don't you don't normally see that sort of stuff from an attacking player and it does honestly help you out quite a bit. Lovely pass there. Lovely finish there from Lenka. Not the most agile of players, but boy can he finish. This team's working well at the moment. I will be keeping Salvio in my team for this weekend league. Yashin actually makes a save there. And it still goes in. Yeah, they gave uh, Kimmich Mal the match. And uh, I find that a bit strange after I show you some stats in a second. So for goals, I see Salvio's name on almost all of them. I go into the stats and see that <laughs> Salvio scored so many goals and they gave Kimmich Mal the match. He must have been doing a lot of work behind the scenes, but yeah. For me anyway, Salvio is definitely man of the match in that game. He didn't even put his controller down or anything. He didn't he didn't seem to care about the scoreline, which I can respect to be honest. I wish I could be so stubborn or <laughs> so composed. If I was losing my seven goals, I'd wanna probably throw my control through my TV. Lovely run there. And it was dink. Beautiful. I was actually winning in this game twice, I believe, and I brought it back both times, so I was really happy to get the win in that game. Yeah, look, look at that. There's nothing wrong with the clip there. I made the through ball, had a bit of starter lag, and still managed to get off the header. That was the only that was the only lag I saw in that game as well, which is kind of strange. Get the two goals there with Salvio. This guy's out of here. But yeah, that is the end of the clips. Straight into the pros and cons. As you see there. We got a lot of pros and only one only one con, which again is very, very good to see. Not too expensive either, to be honest. You definitely get value for money when it comes to this player. Obviously, his lead doesn't help too much, but his nation's fairly decent and his position's very easy to isolate with icons or Argentinians, so I'd say he's definitely worth a tryout straight off the bat. But yeah, straight into his first pro, positioning. He has got 98 positioning as standard. Which I find honestly insane. That's without any chemistry style at all. So yeah, I, I wouldn't bother touching the positioning because uh, it is very, very decent. Does also have 97 acceleration. So when he is in the position to break away from the uh, defender's back line, he is almost unstoppable. He's so, so lethal. And um, also coupled with that is his finishing. He's only got 87 as standard. I did smack a sniper on him. So again, that is boosted thoroughly. And uh, yeah, you can definitely feel it because he finishes almost everything. He is so, so clinical. But yeah, on to the next pro, agility. On um on his stats, it's only 88. But I feel like his height has something to do with it because he feels so much more agile than 88. He is so quick at turning, dribbling, pulling off skill moves, drag backs, etc. He feels so, so agile. But yeah, anyways, next pro, passing. Um, his passing over was very, very decent for me. Um bit of a weird one he does only have 77 long passing but his through balls for me were insane so i don't know if his vision's kicking in or his curve or 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 whatnot but he was so so good at passing even long passing another pro pace he is so fast so fast um also, also he's small small decent acceleration means he feels very very rapid does have also 91 sprint speed so when he does when his acceleration does kick in, he is still very fast. But yeah, next um, pro. Bit of a weird pro, I know. Um, but it is aggression. He does have 83. And uh, he does actually, when he loses the ball on the back line, defenders actually take the ball off you. He fights for it quite a bit. And it's strange, but also it's very, very helpful. And also sometimes he drops into cam and uh, tries tackling his midfield. And again, he's like almost a fawn in the side. And uh, yeah, it's a, it's a pro for me, definitely. Next and last pro being composure. He is so, so composed on the ball. Uh, he rarely does heavy touches. Rarely gives away possession on the uh, in the final third. His shooting for me was so, so clinical. Doesn't seem to be phased by defenders. Uh, but yeah, overall. And also um, his passing doesn't seem to be infected either because his composure is so high. So 
his passing for me and his shooting again is so so good and yeah yeah composure is definitely a pro now obviously no one's perfect or at least i haven't found anybody yet uh, one con for me is his balance but only sometimes um most of the time he's very agile on the ball his balance is very decent but sometimes if you do quick turns or you're trying to turn um, while sprinting he will take a heavy touch or he will slow down a lot and again sometimes that does cost you in a few attacks but I think the pros most certainly outweigh the cons for this card I did give him a 9.6 out of 10 which again I think is fair could be a 9.7 9.8 possibly depending on how you play the game and how you like your players but I did give him a 9.6 on a PlayStation right now time of recording he has 435,000 and on Xbox, weirdly enough, he's uh, 350,000, which is quite the decrease, to be fair. And to be honest, boys, I think he's worth a lot more than this. But yeah, if you did enjoy this review, I've got anything out of it, please do leave a like. And if you're new here, subscribe to my channel. Let me know in the comments down below who you want reviewed next, and I'll get right to it. But yeah, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.